Welcome to the Saturday Night Rewind. I'm Holly DeBoer. UK's first night game was tonight at 7.30 against Akron. ABC 36's Forrest Tucker is there live with the highlights. Forrest, I don't know how your night was, but I got poured on in Richmond. <laughs> Hallie, it was all dry here at Kroger Field. Thankfully for me, I'm sorry it got drenched, but the Kentucky offense did drench the Zips of Akron in touchdowns. That was in the second half, though. Final score, 35-3 to here from Kroger Field. Well, let's get to those highlights to show you guys right now this. Okay, so... Yeah, like I said, slow start a little bit for the Cats today, but Devin Leary rolling out in the first quarter, and this is so close to me. It was amazing. What a treat. We're going to see it right in a second. He's going to throw a pass right to the corner of the end zone. Josh Caddis is there. 7-0 early on. The Cats on top showing some muscle. Then, a couple plays later, a couple, what, little while later in the second quarter, Tavion Robinson getting on the end of this Devin Leary pass over the middle. That goes in for another touchdown. 14 to nothing at the half here. And the Big Blue Nation was on their feet in Kroger Field for a lot of this game. But there was much to be desired here. Akron threatening at times. They kicked a couple of field goals. A lot of them did not go in. One of them did, though. You're seeing right now one that did not. It missed it. So that was a three points from Akron just after halftime. 14-3 then in the third quarter. And who else but Ray Davis. This play looks like it is done. It is dead in the ground. But no, Ray moving. He is going across the field 58 yards. Gets that pass from Devin Leary and taking it to the house. How about that? Hey, the ground game is what was working out for the Cats today. And no shame in the run game at all. Davis, again, gets a 55-yard rush. 28-3 in the fourth quarter. Then, dying minutes. Three minutes left. Demi Sumo Karung Bay on the doorstep. His four-yard rush solidifies the win. 35-3. Head coach Mark Stoops says that his team has a lot to work on heading into SEC play, but here he is on the victory. Really appreciate the way the defense played the entire night. Uh, really, with some some late yardage there, some leakage late. We got to talk to him and play a lot of guys, which was good to see. Gave up some yards there at the end, but prior to that, really played a, a, one of the more complete games we've played all year and in a long time, probably defensively. Uh, appreciate that effort. Again, the special teams are doing uh, what they have to do, playing really hard. Offensively, a lot of, a lot of frustration again. You know, we can't, you know, it's a broken record, but you can't have, can't have both, you know, snaps. You can't have holds. You can't fumble going in. And uh, you have a chance to, you know, easily put up, uh, you know, 40, 42, 49 points pretty easy. And, and then we really wouldn't, Nobody would be as mad or as frustrated, I should say. You know. Now you've heard Mark Soup. Let's hear from Jeff Pecoro now. Jeff, three games and three slow starts for the Kentucky offense especially. Yeah, I thought that today, the very first drive, they get the ball right off the kickoff. They go right down the field and score a touchdown. You're thinking, okay, things are going to be great for this team. But then they bog down again. The one thing you look at in this is Devin Leary. Choppy, if you want to call it that, he only completes 16 passes, but for 315 yards, so 19.7 yards per catch. That's huge. But then the bad side of that is he almost got killed a couple of times. I mean, missed blocks by the left tackle, almost got him killed one time, and then at the end, towards the end of the game when he took that shot in the chest. That cannot happen to your starting quarterback. It just seems like they take strides in one direction yep. one, this one week, and then they take strides back. They, they regress a bit. So one of those things that I mentioned is these, you know, these um, penalties here. And we have to get through this quickly. So, but you, you for, for uh, a, lot of, a lot of penalties, a lot of bad ball security, too. Well, the penalties come at the worst time for them. That's, what, that's the key to this. You cannot have the pre-snap penalties. That just cannot happen to a team, especially when you're three games into the season. And now you're heading into SEC play. All right, well, Vanderbilt's up next away in Nashville. He's Jeff Bacoro. I'm Forrest Tucker. Hallie, back to you. Hey, guys, welcome back to Saturday Night Rewind. EKU's first home, ga home game of the season tonight as they look for their first win against Western Carolina. Parker McKinney, you're, oh, sorry, we're back to the first game. They came in. It was a rainy night down in Richmond. McKinney finds Jane Smith for some yards in the first drive of the game. This is when the rain was light. Hallie was not soaked yet. And you know it's a good fake handoff when the camera follows the wrong guy, but EKU finishes the drive with a touchdown. Parker McKinney to Jackson Kinsley for the first points of the game. 
Western Carolina was not going down without a fight. QB Cole Gonzalez hands off to Desmond Reed for some more yards tackled by Mike Smith Jr. And on that same drive, Gonzalez uses his arm, goes long, and finds a wide receiver for the Catamounts' first touchdown of the night. Things were tied going into the fourth quarter, but Western Carolina gets the edge, scoring a touchdown in the last minute of the fourth quarter to win the game 27 to 24. Colonels ran a little bit of the ball more on a wet night, and maybe that's what gave them the edge as McKinney had, you know, some trouble connecting passes in the rain with those slippery and gloves and all that. Disappointed in, in the outcome of the game. Um, they needed to make more plays to have the ability to, to put that one away, and, and we, we let them stick around too long. Um, that being said, I was proud of our kids and how they fought, how they did some things. Uh, we've got to find a way to win a game. Um, you know, it's been... It's been a while since we saw a cabin on the hill, so we need to get back since Kennesaw State. Um, we need to get back to, to playing good EKU football, and you know we've got to convert better on third down. We've got to do a better job in the red zone on defense, and we've got to continue to work um, to prepare to get ready for victory. So. All right, and Indiana at Louisville today, another really good game just down the road. QB Jack Plummer goes absolutely long to Jamari Thrash. I couldn't even tell where that was going for a second. And he takes it all the way in for a Louisville touchdown. Here we have a Plummer and off to the running back and a few missed tackles by Indiana. And he tiptoes in for another Louisville touchdown. And then get a load of this, an onside kick here for IU. And it goes, and they get the ball headed back in their direction. Indiana tried to get through on this last play for a game, or what would have been a game-winning touchdown. Oh, sorry, Indiana actually is going to score a touchdown here, but the final play, they tried to get in for a game-winning touchdown, and Louisville gets the stop, and that is what wins the game 21-24. to All right, here are some other scores for you around the country today. Missouri, Kansas State. Missouri beats number 15, Kansas State. 30 to 27. Number 10 Alabama back in the win column beating South Florida 17 to 3. And no Florida upsets number 11 Tennessee 29 to 16. And then your number one Georgia still staying on top beating South Carolina 24 to 14. That's all we have for tonight. We'll see you next week on our Saturday Night Rewind.